what you've seen on the ground, Nick, is it obvious? Is it obvious who these pro-Russian support, these pro-Russian forces or protesters, who they're being supported by? No, there's no obvious sign. You can see there's no obvious links between the people on the ground here uh, and the Kremlin, as the U.S. State Department would suggest. What is clear is that they're well coordinated. This is all happening in specifically chosen strategic areas that in many ways form a circle around Donetsk on the outskirts of the Donetsk region. And so this geography of this is intriguing in itself. The timing is, of course, intriguing, which by itself implies that there is a substantial uh, amount of strategic over overlook to all of this telling everybody when to go uh, where. But when you look at the pro-Russian militants themselves too, they don't fit the same physical description of the little green men who are accused of moving into the Crimean Peninsula, who, when you saw them, were pretty obviously uh, Russian forces with their insignia taken off. These are often men of a different age range. Their uniforms are pretty similar. They don't have insignia. Their weapons are pretty uh, substantial, and they do seem well organized. So clearly they've been at this before. It's not clear where. And when you look at how this is happening, there really has to be somebody calling the shots, and it's pretty hard to imagine that they are simply local activists from Donetsk who, in the last few days, managed to magic up quite such a substantial uh, move across this entire region, Manisha.